Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you a simple ESL speaking game called Uses and Abuses. This game makes students practice their speaking and critical thinking skills. It is suitable for grades 3 or 4 and above. And as always, this game requires zero preparation. All you need is a piece of chalk, a blackboard, and a few students to play with. Here's how you play it. Split your class into two teams. Prepare two lists of about 10 or 12 items, which are written up on the board. You may do it together with your class. List A contains people and animals, and list B contains objects. You can use any vocabulary items you want, whether you want to review what uh, you taught them previously, or maybe you want to introduce something new. Entirely up to you. In my example, in the list A, I have teacher, mother, baby, elephant, and cat. And in teacher B, I have, let me see, oh yeah, I have book, I have pencil, I have coin, bike, and apple. Decide who goes first. To do that, you can play rock, paper, scissors, shoot with two teams, and the winning team goes first. So let's say, team, uh, let's say sorry, team one wins. Team one starts by inserting one word from list A and one word from list B into one of the two sentence patterns. Pattern number one, what can A do with B? And pattern number two is, why does A need a B, right? The students in team two must find as many answers as possible within one minute. Then it is their turn to make up a new question for team one. You should cross out the words that have been used. The game is finished when all the words have been used up. Here is an example. Or here what it may look like in a classroom. Team one, anybody? Who wants to ask a question? Who wants to be first? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Mary, you wanna have a go? Sure, come here, come here, you can try. No problem at all. <laughs> hmm, what can a teacher do with a book? Huh, huh, go. A teacher can read a book. A teacher can make notes in the book. A teacher can rip out a page and fold a paper plane. A teacher can throw the book. A teacher can use a book to teach English. A teacher can destroy the book. A teacher can use a book to learn something new. Well done! Good job, you guys! Hooray! Team 2, it's your turn. Now you get to ask the question. Go for it. Oh yeah? You wanna try? You wanna try? Sure, Sam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why does an elephant need a bike? Tell me. An elephant needs a bike to break. An elephant needs a bike to ride it. Oh, oh, I know. An elephant needs a bike to push around during playtime. An elephant needs a bike to surprise its friends at the zoo. An elephant needs a bike to play foot bike. An elephant needs a bike to scratch his back. Ooh, I got one, I got one. An elephant needs a bike to throw it at a teacher with a book or with a teacher with a with a sheet of paper. Is it a sheet of paper or a piece of paper? You tell me. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more educational content. Also, please consider supporting my channel by becoming a patron or member or leaving a small donation by buying a super thanks, a small icon with a dollar sign. By the way, I've already got one member. His name is Allah, and I hope I pronounce his name correctly, and I thank him for his support. Thank you very much, and thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!